Are you looking for ways that you could supercharge your website, that you can get your website for your sign and print business to actually work as a tool for you and your sales and production pipelines? You're gonna to wanna to stay tuned and watch this video because we're gonna be covering five tips on how you can use your website to supercharge your sales and production pipeline. Stay tuned. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Peter again from Shopbox and in this video we're gonna be talking about how to supercharge your website for your sign and print business. But before we do, make sure that you click like and subscribe to this video. Go ahead and do that right now. I'll wait. Okay, great. So now that we got that out of the way, let's talk a little bit about how we can supercharge your sign and print shop website. That's right, your website is a tool. We can utilize your website for a lot of new things now. We live in a very different day and age than we did just a year ago. Who would have thought how many Zoom meetings we'd be able to conduct inside of 12 months? A lot of businesses are now able to work remotely, there's people that are working around the country that are absolutely doing three or four different jobs because they ha can, because they can afford the time to do so. And in today's day and age, your website has never been more important to your business. It has never been more important to the livelihood of your business. It is the way that we generate business these days. It is the way digital marketing is handled these days. And your website is a very important window into what you offer, what services you offer in your business for your clients. So let's talk about five ways that you can supercharge your website. Let's begin with tip number one, appointments. You should have some sort of third-party application or some sort of integration in your website that would allow your customers to book appointments with you and any other relative important member of your staff. So you could request a sales site survey. You can book that appointment online. You can request a consultation with the owner or project manager. You can request a meeting with the graphic designer. If your shop would allow those roles to be a little bit more forward facing, if your shop would allow those roles to be forward facing, now you can actually have your customers schedule appointments with the more important representatives to their project in your business. Tip number two, piggybacking off the appointments, you could also install a Zoom meeting room into your website. That's right, you can have a branded Zoom meeting room for all of your meetings, whether they are going to be handled virtually or within your staff. You can handle all of your meetings right through in your website. So here's a tip. You should be able to go onto Zoom, create an account, white label that account with your branding and then you'll get a custom URL meeting room link designated for your business. That's right, you can use that room for anything. You can use that for virtual meetings with your staff. You can use that for uh, consultations when you wanna have a virtual consultation with a potential customer. If you're gonna do a sales presentation, uh, with your potential lead, they can do that if they're if you if you're one of those shops that's working with companies across the country or uh, you know whatever the case may be, and you don't want to have a regular Zoom meeting, you can present yourself in a way where you can have a branded Zoom meeting that keeps them focused onto your brand because you're going to say, hey, please go to mywebsitecom slash meeting and it keeps them focused on your company's image. All right. The third tip, and this is a dandy, online design tools. That's right, there is a lot of third-party integration there when it comes to allowing your customer to design what they're looking for or, what they're, or give you a sense of their style when they're talking to you about what they are looking for. So, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, I'm looking for business cards. Here's the design that I kind of came up with on your design tool. Maybe you could take that and spruce that up a little bit. Or here's that flyer, here's that postcard, here's that sticker, label, bumper sticker, whatever the case is uh, that your shop is selling, where it would allow them to take that lead generating tool along with 
the digital asset that they created and give you and your team a general sense of what they're looking for. Okay, tip number four. I personally love this one. Allowing your customer to book their installation time on your website. Now I want you to think about that for a minute. That really changes the way your production pipeline might work. But let me tell you how simple that actually is. Let's say that you sell a, a large awning to your customer or it doesn't necessarily need to be an awning, it could be anything that you are going to then go and install. Once you have that project ready in your house, typically a lot of shops are calling the customer and letting them know, okay, your project is done. We're looking to book your time for installation. But let's see if you can integrate some marketing methods into that. You could set up a CRM to text your lead when the project is done with the link to set up the installation or potentially service call within your website. Go to this link, book your installation time that's set up for that potential time frame. You know, you might be a shop that's gonna do half day, full day installs. There's a little bit of intricacies that you gotta work out there, but the likelihood of a customer being able to book the installation when they're there is key because we want the customers to be there. We want our clients to be there when our staff are on site. Just in case things go wrong or it's not to their liking, we want them there to make those kind of tedious decisions that go along with hanging a sign. And finally, tip number five, get some sort of financing application into and embedded into your website. So this will help you close more sales, this will help you penetrate more markets by allowing your shop the ability of taking financing by working with a third party lender. There are plenty of companies out there. Uh, I'll leave a couple in the description below, but getting them to get you a branded white labeled URL link suited for your business to allow your customers to go on and be able to purchase that sign package, the fleet of wraps, whatever the case is going to be, and finance it through your website. All right guys, that's it for me. In this video, I'm Peter Karunas with Shopbox. Please like and subscribe to this channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about these tips on how to supercharge your website. And I look forward to seeing all the success stories out there. I hope everybody's staying safe and stay positive out there.